The Island Rex coming to you live with another video, cuz. I'm about to do this last video. You feel me? I'm kind of tired. I've been up since like 5.30 this morning. That's no lie, man. It's like, uh, I don't even know what time it is. That's how, you know, how late it is. It's, I'm thinking it's around like, um, probably like 11 or 12. I, ain't, I came from the screening. But I want to talk about the Lakers, man. Like, the Lakers, we just came off of... Uh, what was that? A win and a loss. I, I remember we won against the 76ers. Um, and we just recently played. We got the Hornets tomorrow. I can't wait to watch that game. You feel me? Um, who did we play last? We just played somebody last that I don't even remember. Oh, the, the Cavaliers. We just played the Cavaliers. Um, it was a good game. I, I seen like the first half. You know, it was a great game. Uh, Brandon Ingram got... You know, was close to getting a triple double. Nick Young balled his ass off, and uh, I wanted to talk about Jordan Clarkson too. You know, I feel like Jordan Clarkson is not as effective as he was last year. Excuse me. And the reason he's not as effective as he was last year is mostly because he don't have a ball in his hands. You know, like Luke Walton's system is going to take a huge. It's taking a huge adjustment for Jordan Clarkson, and um, I feel like because. He it's a huge adjustment. Like he he's used to, like you seen he was successful in Scott system. Like he needs to be. He's ball dominant. He's a ball dominant player. Like I think that if Russell Westbrook played for, not to try to compare him to Russell Westbrook, but I've seen in the past, like I said, we got comparisons to Russell Westbrook. To where I think that if Russell Westbrook played for Steve Kerr in his system, he'd be less effective because he don't have the ball in his hands and he's not a two guard and he can't play. Like he's not that great without the ball. He has. To, he's the type of player, Russell Westbrook type player. He has to have the ball in his hands. As you can see, he's always dribbling the ball for a majority of the shot clock when he's playing for you know while he's playing for the OKC Thunder. And if he get a ball, it's not get a ball up. It's not for that long. It's to set a screen or to dish it off to Cantor after he didn't had the ball through the majority of the shot clock. So I, that's just my personal opinion, you know. But Russell Westbrook is a great player. I don't be I like my criticism on Russell Westbrook is only because of the turnovers and his footwork. I just want to see him get better in terms of his footwork and his decision making down the stretch. Other than that, Russell Westbrook is a great player and I like Russell Westbrook. Like you go go back and, and watch my videos or go back and read my timeline on Facebook, like all my old posts where I said that I felt like Jordan and Kobe was passing passing the ring I mean the rings to Russell Westbrook, I said that in the past. You know, I said I've said that, but you know, people when you give you criticism, they think you hate. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about the Lakers. Like I said, George Clarkson, I feel like he's less effective because he don't have the ball in his hands as much. And you see, he get frustrated at times when Lou Williams is bringing the ball up majority of the time. And my thing is, I think Lou Williams do touch the ball a, a lot more than he should. You know. And I think that uh, Lou Williams takes a lot of shots, you know. But he give, he does give us the best chance of winning. But I would like to see a lot more of those shots go to D-Lo and a lot more of those shots go to J.C. And that's just my opinion. And uh, Julius Randle. I feel like Julius Randle should take more jump shots. But we won't see Draymond Green taking that many jump shots. So, you know, um, I guess it's cool for the modern-day power forward to not take as many shots. But um, they played well. They played great against the Cavaliers. They held their own against LeBron, and I thought it was gonna be way worse than that than it was. Like I, I ain't even gonna lie. Like I had a feeling that LeBron was just gonna turn it up. But that just go to show you how great the Lakers are gonna be because they they held their own against them. They held their own against a, an elite team, like a super elite team, and they played hard. Larry Nance, I, I love the way Larry Nance played. And Julius Randle could average like. 20 and he could do a triple double every night man like that's how great he could be like he just take nights off and he just you know he's off and on but if he could just keep it on every night and just go hard he could at least do it he could at least 12 12 and you know try to find a way to make his team effective man like Julius Randle one of my favorite players too on the Lakers uh the only thing I'm missing I don't really like watching the games without D'Angelo Russell I ain't even gonna lie because I love his his charisma, like I love his attitude, man. If if D'Angelo D'Angelo Russell watching this, man, like to D'Lo, and it's my honest opinion, man. Like 
keep doing you, bro. Like, I like if I don't know if you seen the video Revenge of the Bus. Like, it was just like basically telling people like for all the people who said that's why I got quotes on the bus. Like, it's it's just the quotes right, the air quotes out there for all the people who called you a bus and all that. When when we when the Lakers fans stuck with you through thick and thin. Through all the people calling you a bus, it's like the revenge, man. And I and I might do a part two, but shout out to D Lo, and I want to tell you, bro, like, don't stop speaking your mind, man. Stop, don't don't let people be like, oh, you're not you're not confident, and I mean he's too he too confident, he too cocky, and keep doing you, bro. Like you need that Kobe had it, and that's what that's what the league missing, and that's what the Lakers franchise need, man. Like that arrogance, that bravado. Keep doing you, bro. Like, I support it 100%, man. Like, talk your shit, bro. Like, talk that shit, that ice in the pain shit. You feel me, bro? Like, shout out to D-Lo, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. And don't care about what nobody else, man. We gonna always support you over here, bro. Like, the whole phone shit, all that, man. Like, keep doing you, bro. We gonna always support you, man. d Allen Rex gonna always hate you. We gonna always fight for you. But anyway... That's enough of the bandwagon talk, you know what I'm talking about. Back to what I was saying. Uh, Lakers, we got the Charlotte Hornets tomorrow. I want to see a little bit more ball movement. You know, uh, the defense pick it up on the defensive end. And I just want to see us, you know, continue to get better, man. I just I just be thinking about where we going to be, man. It just, like, make me go crazy sometimes when I see Brandon Ingram do some things that is just crazy, like, on the defensive end, man. And you could tell, like, I don't care what nobody say. I think he's been working with Kobe, man. Like, I've seen his post moves. And, you know, he's going to keep one. Once his three-pointer start dropping, I, I keep saying this over and over. Once his three and his shots start falling, like, the defense is already on lock, man. He's just a great defender already. But when he get his offensive game, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous, bro. Like, I'm telling you, man. So, I want to see JC pick it up. Um, I want to see somebody else step up, man. And, you know, I think Luke Walton got to try to get – uh, Jordan Clarkson, the ball in his hands more so he could be more effective, you know, coming off that bench. And it, and because we have the best bench in the league, and I think with Jordan Clarkson getting more, having the ball in his hands a lot more than Lou Williams, it'll help us, you know, like that game versus the Houston Rockets in the beginning of the, the uh, or opening night, I should say. So, uh, what else I wanted to talk about? Oh, that dunk with Larry Nance on Brooke Lopez. I don't know if I, I didn't think I got to talk. I don't think I got to talk about that. That shit was crazy, man. He went to another level, like a high, like super high, man. Like just crazy. It was crazy. Larry Nance, don't think we forgot, bro. You better make sure you get in that dunk contest because we want to see that shit. Stop ducking, man. Duck, stop ducking. We and stop and don't be apologizing for dunking on nobody, man. Y'all gotta stop that 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 sensitive shit, man. Like this the NBA, bro. This a grown man. It's a grown man's league, man. Stop that soft shit. Stop that apologizing for dunking on niggas' faces and putting your balls in their face and shit. Like, do that shit and walk away. Run the scores up. Stop stop, stop the pussy shit, man. On some real shit. Like, did Brooke Lopez come in your face again? You dunk on that man again. LeBron get in your face. You dunk on him. Period. Period. Whoever it is. Steph Curry. Steph Curry, one of my favorite players. But you dunk on him. Serious, like shout out to Larry Nance, man. Like keep dunking on them fools, man. Your f- the fans want to see entertainment. Keep entertaining us. Keep winning. Shout out to Laker Nation. All my peoples out there, man. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Love y'all. Stay safe. I'm out. I'm out. L. A. Babe.